What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and on today's show we're going to be talking about the differences between evaporation retarders and finishing aids for concrete. So what are the pros and cons of each one and why would you use one over the other? So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So both finishing aids and evaporation retarders are going to help you finish concrete in hot weather, but they really are two very different things. I mean, not only in the way they work, but also in the way that they're meant to be used. Now, there does always seem to be a little bit of confusion surrounding this topic, so we're going to take a closer look at each one and hopefully clear up any misconceptions. So, first up is evaporation retardants, and uh, the stuff here from DecoCrete is called DecoFilm, and you're going to see a lot of other stuff out there that looks very similar to this. It's usually in a little bottle that gets mixed up with water in your sprayer. And these things are meant to be sprayed on the concrete surface immediately after the first bowl float, and it is not meant to be worked in. I mean, it'll basically just cover up the slab and keep the moisture from evaporating. I mean, it's kind of like covering up uh, your concrete with a big piece of plastic that's eventually just gonna wear off all on its own. This certainly will buy you some extra time if you're pouring a large area or if it's a really hot or windy day, um, or if you're just worried about getting it back to it in time before that surface starts to dry over or dry out and crust over. Now, once this film wears off, I mean, the evap retarder has done its job and that's pretty much it. I mean, these things are not meant to be used during the finishing process. Because again, it is not a finishing aid, it is not meant to add moisture to the surface, it is not meant to bring concrete back that's past its finishing window. You spray it on, you let it do its thing, and that is it. Now, this does mean that this is not going to work very well uh, if you're using color hardener because in that case, you're going to have to keep floating the slab uh, all the way during the coloring process and for that uh, sort of thing. You're going to need a finishing aid and more on that in a little bit. Now, for integral color stamp concrete, evapotards actually do work really well. They're just going to buy you some extra time on the surface, but they can only do so much. So on a really hot sunny day, you're probably going to want to have some finishing aid on hand as well, just in case you end up needing it. I mean, evapotards are kind of like sunscreen for your concrete. It's going to keep the surface cool and hydrated for a while, but it is not meant for rubbing up concrete that is already skinned over. So now on to finishing aids and from DecoCrete, our finishing aid is Slab Saver and this is the stuff that can be used during the entire process. I mean, the biggest advantage of a finishing aid is that it's going to add a little bit of moisture in a safe way and uh, it's just going to help your tools glide across the surface. It's going to keep them from sticking and dragging. So maybe it's just a really hot day. Maybe there's a spot of a slab that's just sitting in the sun or maybe Maybe the concrete is just starting to get away from you, but this stuff will absolutely save your ass when you need it. And I mean, even during the early stages of pouring, I mean, if the concrete just seems really sticky that day, I mean, you can spray this stuff on and, and float it in and it will make a world of difference. Now, finishing aids do need to be worked in right away. And I mean, just spraying them on and letting them sit is really not going to do any good for you at all. Now, not all finishing aids are the same, so make sure you do some research beforehand, but something like Slab Saver, it is not only going to to help you finish that concrete but it'll also set the surface back just a little bit and this is going to help it from crusting over and this is really really helpful in stamp concrete because it's going to help reduce those little tears that tend to happen on the surface i mean all in all a good finishing aid is just something that you don't want to leave home without even if you didn't think you're going to need it that day quick little recap here before we finish up uh, evap retarders are meant to be sprayed on the concrete right after the first bowl float. They are not meant to be worked into the surface and it's just going to keep the top from drying out too fast and it just basically buys you some extra time and it's just going to retain the moisture that's already in the concrete. Finishing aids on the other hand, now these things can be used during the entire process. They do need to be worked in and it'll just add some extra moisture in a safe way and keep your tools from sticking. And it can really, really save your ass on a hot day, so don't leave home without. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this week's show. Please leave us a comment if we missed anything or if you have any questions on evaporation retarders or finishing aids for concrete. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Share this on social media. So from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.